Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome to Tuesday's Thought for the Day. The Nicene Creed begins with a clear statement of who we believe in. We believe in one God. Yet as we go through the Creed, we see that this belief is belief in a Trinitarian God. So we believe in the Father, in one Lord Jesus Christ, and in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified. So the Christian belief in one God is different from, say, the Muslim view that there is one God. We believe in one God, yet also in three persons of the Godhead. Now, when Jesus was asked about which was the most important commandment, he replied, Love the Lord your God with all your heart. But before that, he quoted from Deuteronomy 6 verse 4. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. So Jesus affirms the oneness of God, the uniqueness of God. There is only one God to be worshipped. All other gods are false, mere idols. God is not only unique, he is one. That is, he does not take multiple forms in different places or religions. We cannot say that the one God is the same for all religions and is simply known by different names, such as Allah or Krishna or Jesus. Nor are we saying that God is one in the sense there is only one Starbucks. God is not a franchise with many local realities. God is one. And what is remarkable is how the Apostle Paul, steeped in the monotheism of Israel, rewrites Deuteronomy 6 in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 6. Paul writes, There is but one God, the Father, from whom all things come, and there is but one Lord, Jesus Christ, through whom all things come. So both Jesus and God are included in the unique divine identity. But Jesus is not a second God. He is a one God with a father. The divinity of Jesus compromises neither the uniqueness nor the singularity of God. The father is God and Jesus is God. And as we shall see, the spirit is God. And yet God is still one. One essence, undivided and singular. And furthermore, because God is one, he acts with integrity and consistency. Now, you know what it can be like with parents, for example. They can take different views on a topic when asked by a child. Dad says one thing, mum says the other. But unlike that, God always speaks with one voice. Father, Son and Spirit speak with one voice because they are one. God's words, they're always consistent. God has a unity of will and a constancy of character. And it's to this one God that everyone is commanded to turn to and to believe in. God declares, Isaiah 45 verse 22, Turn to me and be saved, all you ends of the earth, for I am God and there is no other. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we praise you for this glorious truth of one God in three persons. In Jesus' name, Amen. Have a good Tuesday. See you tomorrow.